Hello, I'm Juan Luciano, and it is a pleasure to represent ADM in this Agriculture Roundtable. I want to thank the U.S. Harland China Association for the kind invitation. Today, U.S. and China relationship is at one of the slowest points in the last 50 years. And the next few years, we'll see this complex relationship continue to evolve with areas of cooperation around COVID recovery and climate change, and areas of dispute, probably around technology and intellectual property. Even in this framework, the US-China economic relationship will still be substantial, but may be more focused where there is less concern about technology transfer, such as agricultural products and basic consumer goods. So I think our industry offers the possibility of becoming a bridge for these two nations to explore further collaboration for the benefit of both economies and the world. Many of you hopefully are familiar with ADM, but we have evolved from the company of only five, 10 years ago, while retaining our heritage and services for our customers. Just about a year ago, we unveiled a new purpose to unlock the power of nature to enrich the quality of life. It reflects a transformation into a new ADM that does more and for more people than ever before. Today, ADM is one of the world's leading human and nutritional companies with an expansive pantry of ingredients and solutions, pioneers in health and wellness and sustainable renewable industrial solutions, and still a premier global food supply chain manager matching local needs with global capabilities. As a company that does all this across the food and agriculture value chain, we're optimistic and excited about how our countries can continue to work together. Let me enumerate some examples and opportunities that I see. The phase one has been a great success, tearing down non-tariff barriers and creating a pathway for partnership. American farmers sold about $27 billion in main agricultural products to China in 2020. February marks the fifth consecutive month of record volumes for U.S. soybean exports overall. And what's best in this relationship, everybody benefits. China, with 20% of the world population and 6% of the arable land, needs imports as part of their food security priority. But also American farmers and American agriculture benefit from having a strong export demand for their surplus. But the opportunities are not just limited to food security and extend into meeting the growing and more complex needs of an exploding middle class. China's middle class today is more than 700 million people and their consumption patterns are growing, evolving and diversifying. Younger, younger and wealthier Chinese consumers want new foods that are better for the environment, better for the body, tastier and more convenient. US and China have the opportunity to meet those needs together. American agriculture is a key source of premium food and feed products to meet these evolving needs. American companies like ADM and others provide a wide range of products from dietary fibers to citrus flavors to meet the new needs of China's middle class. Another opportunity for common ground is supporting agriculture as it fits more and more sustainably than ever before. I believe we have tremendous opportunity to work together on two subjects. One, regenerative agriculture a focus on supporting farmers in adopting practices that address water quality and soil health, such as cover crops, reduced tillage, complex crop rotations, and nutrient, man nutrient management to reduce soil erosion and nutrient runoff. Farmers benefit from these conservation practices by keeping their most valuable asset, their soil, and expensive inputs like nitrogen on the field, instead of in the local waterways. The second is food waste. It's been recently estimated that food waste, food waste lost causes the global economic, environmental and social cost of about $2.6 trillion a year. 
and is responsible for 8 to 10 percent of the global greenhouse gas emissions. So reducing food waste across the food value chain is critical to reducing the environmental impact of agriculture by reducing the total amount of water, land, and other resources needed to feed the global community. Partnering to address this issue proactively can have significant impacts on both food insecurity and climate change. In conclusion, we are honored to help strengthen and foster this relationship, one that is changing and growing, but at its core remains mutually beneficial for Chinese consumers and American producers. Thank you very much.